I can firmly say that we've been able to protect a lot of medical workers out there. And the best part is we've been able to make sure that they can stay protected because these are reusable. This is something that's so beautiful and incredible to me because this is our opportunity to step up to the challenge and to really prove the power of 3D printing and show to the rest of the world that 3D printing is the technology of the future and is exactly what we need to begin implementing widely across so many different community centers, especially hospitals. And the best part about these is that they are made from plastic, um, reliable plastic that is non-porous, which makes them reusable. And that is so important considering there are so many face shields out there at the moment that aren't reusable and there are people that aren't following these proper specifications and guidelines. should be 3D printing um, these face shields and this PPE is when I saw the list of doctors and nurses who died due to the lack of um, improper protection. And in that moment, I realized that I need to try. I need to, to make a run for it. And I need to see if, if my PPE will make a difference because if I don't try, um, there's no way of knowing if I can um, help the people in desperate need. about these is that they take the pressure off the ears, especially for nurses and doctors who've had long days in the ER or the ICU wearing their N95s, and most of, who, most of whom have actually been wearing um, an N95 on top of a surgical mask. I am so very eager for COVID-19 to end and for the rest of the world to realize just how powerful and essential 3D printing is to our future. I cannot wait to, to see 3D printing um, being more accessible and being used and taught in schools everywhere. And I can't wait for 3D printing to be used to inspire more girls to pursue, um, pursue their careers in STEM.